there and welcome to Movies and Entertainment on iAfrica Voices, reaching you from Ottawa, the Canadian capital city. I'm Joy Oseago. Isiolo Tokumbo Jaburo is an award-winning movie producer and director based in Toronto, Canada. We became interested in his work because of his passion for uniting Nollywood film producers in Canada and other black film producers in an age where diversity has become the game changer in the industry. Now, how did he get into film production and what drives his passion? That is the focus of our conversation with Jaburo on this edition of the program. So, how did the audition go? Did you get the role? That was a brilliant performance, Molly. You have it in you. Just remember, princess, nothing good comes easy. Molly Makala. Good luck. Hi. Uh, I'm Francis. I'm Molly. It is my pleasure to welcome your family to our family. Will you please marry me? Our invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Isioro Tokumbo Jaburo is one of the driving forces behind the black film industry in Canada. He graduated from the Toronto Film School in 2007 in film production with the focus on producing, directing and scripting. How was your business trip? Did you take care of things? Jaburo bogged a degree in business management, majoring in marketing from Athabasca University in Canada. Isioro Tokumbo Jaburo is the chief executive officer and president of True Sale Production and Motion Pictures. He has produced three feature films and short stories. If you are black, it don't matter where you're from. You could be from Africa, you could be from the Caribbean, you could be black from any part of the world, but you are based in Canada. You have to be based in Canada. You are welcome to join the Black Actor, the Actors Guild of Canada, Black Canada. I have heard so many great testimonies about your work and collaborative spirit from some of your fellow um, Nollywood actors in Canada. They spoke about you in glowing terms. And you're a unifying factor for all of them. And it sounds good to me. How did you get into the film industry? I'm glad to hear that people talk about me. So it uh, shows that I'm doing something good. So I appreciate that, you know. Um, getting into the film industry is more about the passion. Uh, growing up, you know, I've always wanted to be uh, in the film industry. Uh, like I always tell people, initially I thought... Uh, I, was, uh, I was acting was one was a was a direction for me, but uh, it was not until when I got to the Toronto Film School and I realized that no, not acting, you know, and it is more of telling stories, you understand me, and so directing was more of my focus. Uh, in the process, I studied screenwriting and then um, producing, you know. So that's how uh, I got into it. As a filmmaker, uh, you you are able to direct the narrative to you know suit what you want, how you want to tell it. You understand me? But um, it is always good to be to stay true to the message. I know you're the founder of the Toronto International 
Nollywood Film Festival. Now, when did you move to Canada and what led to the birth of the Toronto International Nollywood uh, Festival, which is like a mm. point of convergence for film yeah. producers in Canada and Nigeria? I came to Canada in 2004, you know, and uh, then I went, I studied film production and, and all that. And uh, after being in the film industry, uh, trying to find myself, you understand me, as a filmmaker here in Canada, which, uh, which is a challenge for uh, minority filmmakers, especially uh, when you're, uh, uh, you're an immigrant from Africa, the, the challenge is even, is even more. You have to work 10 times as hard, you understand me, to fit in. So based on my experience, after attending few film festivals, I thought about uh, starting up a film festival and independent film festivals to give um, filmmakers the opportunity to, I mean, compete and uh, to share their story and to talk about their experience. Given the fact that I have a background from Nigeria, I'm a proud Nigerian, I wanted to do something that will contribute to the growth of uh, the already established name Nollywood, a festival that celebrates diversity uh, and inclusion through film. The, the festival was founded October 1st, 2016. So that's uh, October 1st is the Independent Day of Nigeria. Have different skills we have different abilities you understand me but if we can bring them together we will be able to do something great you, you know and i am always open to collaborating always open to sharing ideas always open to sharing the little knowledge i know with my peers so, so that uh, we can find a way to grow not just only the Nollywood brand, but also create opportunity for Black filmmakers and Black actors here in Canada. And of course, they, uh, globally, because you see, when Black filmmakers and actors, they come to Canada, regardless of whether they're Canadians or not, or Canadian residents or not, uh, they have the opportunity to benefit from some of the things that we are doing, especially through the Black Actors and Film Guild Canada as well. And talking about the Black Actors and Film Guild Canada, you are also the founder. So what do you do? Yeah, I'm the founder. My wife is the co-founder of the organization, uh, Victoria Tori Jaboro, to empower Black actors and filmmakers here in Canada. Uh, I went to the Toronto Film School, graduated in 2007. Yeah. I knew the challenges I went through as a Black filmmaker here in Canada. Um, it is not easy. When I did my first project, Saving Dreams, I had a lot of roles for black uh, actors, but when we did the casting, we didn't get them. We didn't get black actors to take on those roles. And I initially, I didn't understand why this was the case. Later on, I did a bit of research and I found out that there are not much opportunities for black actors here in Canada and also uh, black filmmakers. You know, so if you don't have black filmmakers who write the story uh, for black actors, you know, for black characters, then there will be no opportunities for uh, black actors to act in movies that are being directed by uh, black filmmakers. You know, so because of that lack of opportunity, I decided that uh, it was best to come up with something, an organization that, a not for profit organization, that will be ready and willing to train. Uh, black actors and uh, bring black filmmakers together. I did a, f a short film and it was selected in festivals as well as uh, uh, the uh, Emerging Lens Film Festival. It was also selected at the International Black and Diversity Film Festival and also at the Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival, you know. So the organization is there to mentor black actors and filmmakers to uh, participate and create opportunities. Director Austin, uh, Odige is in Ottawa. He's the uh, president of the Black Actors of Film Guild chapter in uh, Ottawa. We have Catherine Fasida. She's uh, a director. Uh, she's the president of the uh, Black Actors and Film Guild uh, Calgary chapter. Uh, we got Bosun, who is in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. He's the 
uh, director there and uh, and uh, so we are spreading. How are you taking advantage of opportunities created by Canada for black businesses to see how um, you can get financial support to carry out some of these projects? Because I know film production is capital intensive. Yes. Yes. Um, the, the thing is that, um, yes, they say these opportunities are there, but uh, there are some, uh, the clause as well, you understand me, which restricts. Uh, organization like ours will, that are new to benefit from those uh, opportunities that they have there, you know. Uh, but uh, we are hopeful. Yes, the opportunities are there. You apply, they say you're not qualified because you don't have the history yet. No, uh, we understand. But I just believe in, you know what, even when uh, they say no, don't let no be the final. Just keep going. You know, some of these same people will come back and say, oh, come. Uh, you guys, uh, we like what you're doing. We will appreciate any support that uh, can be given to us. Um, they should understand, uh, when I say they, uh, organizations that sponsors, that uh, give grants, that uh, uh, even donation, true donation, you understand me? Should understand that what we are doing is we are empowering Black actors and filmmakers through production. You understand me giving them the opportunity to build your portfolio. There are a lot of black actors uh, here, especially in Toronto, because we did our first project in Toronto. You understand me? And there are a lot of black filmmakers who are passionate about this industry and who have the skill, skill set to get it done. You know? So that was very encouraging to me that discovering this that why take this opportunity somewhere else where you can make this opportunity available to these people uh, in the community, black people in the community who are in the industry. So these are some of the benefits, you know. So we are not too worried about uh, whether we get the opportunity uh, for funding now. If we get it, we get it, but that should not stop us. We keep pushing. I have uh, worked with uh, uh, Afro Global, Patricia and uh, Moses, you know, uh, they're black uh, entrepreneurs, you know, in the TV industry, and they're doing great things, you know. So I was able to collaborate uh, to co-produce uh, a TV series, you know, they are currently working on, you know, uh, called Amobella's uh, Palace Kitchen, which is an Afrofusion uh, restaurant, uh, Italian-Nigerian uh, uh, couple who... Uh, set up a restaurant and it's a comedy drama. Myself and then uh, Catherine in Calgary, we are talking about uh, working on pro uh, projects she's working on, you know, and once she's ready, uh, I'll be ready to fly down to Calgary, you know, to work with her. Obi, be creative. You are Nigerian. From what I've heard, you guys are some of the most creative and positive people in this world. Um, you know what? I've seen this in a movie before. Okay. I wrote, direct, and produced Saving Dreams. Uh, her that I did, Believe in You. You may kiss the bride. I decided to make this evening a special one. And I told you that the only thing that you'll be doing is when I tell you to and where I tell you to. You are so sweet. I think I heard you sing. Impossible, I won't sing anymore. Be true to yourself. Turn on the radio set. And I 
I work on a project, Molly's Love Story, you know, which is uh, yet to be released. And then Love in Transition, of course, you know. And I have a list of other projects that I'm working on, possibly uh, by God's grace this year, or we'll probably uh, be working on um, a few of my projects as well as the project of others. Yeah. I see that Brampton is opening doors to you. Uh, are you taking advantage of that opportunity that is coming your way? Now, when I say you, I'm not talking about you as a person. I'm talking mm -hmm. about you as a group. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. And um, we, first of all, I want to appreciate and um, thank the city of Brampton and the uh, Mayor Brown, you know, for uh, uh, making this opportunity available you understand me to to us yes we're going to be taking advantage of this opportunity and um, we are glad that for at, at, at last uh, uh, a section of the government has realized that uh, there is an untapped uh, uh, opportunity here you understand me in terms of uh, market or production uh, collaborate, uh, collaborations and all that stuff that needs to be explored. We will be working with the city of Brampton and seeing how we can have that collaboration going. Now, this leads to your question about have I worked with uh, Canadian producers or collaborating Canadian projects? A support system like this will pave the way for such. Well, let's assume we want to do a production here, a collaborative production here, wherever we bring uh, 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 actors, filmmakers from Nollywood will come and work with filmmakers from here in Canada. They don't necessarily all have to be black, can be from any race, you understand me? And we collaborate and have uh, stories that can connect in both, uh, both culture, you understand me? You know? And so these are some of the opportunities uh, which the city of Brampton have made uh, uh, available. The Nigeria High Commission represents Nigeria here, and they also yeah. look out for the interests of Nigerians in Canada. And I yes. know cultural diplomacy is high on the High Commissioner's scale of preference. What would you like to see in terms of support from the Nigeria High Commission in Ottawa? Um, a good way to start is to start to work with the Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival. See how we can get some of this our. Uh, the Nollywood practitioners here to come here through the festival every year and uh, to network with uh, the Canadian part, uh, counterparts here. You understand me, you know? So that's a good first step. But the government can bring organizations who, on the, who are ready to sponsor the uh, activities to help this happen. This is a festival that's yet to stay. We are going to the uh, sixth year now. So imagine having this networking every year in Toronto and you have filmmakers, practitioners, uh, producers, uh, distributors, they come together and they talk about business opportunities, I talk about co uh, collaborative opportunities and all that. So one big way to sell Nigeria as a brand. <music> Thank you, Siro Tokumbo Jaburu. We salute your passion and courage. We hope other artists can join your team to add value to the film industry in Canada. And thank you for staying with us. Until we come your way next time, I'm Joy Oseago.